Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And woohoo! Woo! It's getting dark. Sun's going down. It's very pretty. Uh so yeah, we are at the Guardian Farm. And uh sun's going down, but that's okay. It's safe around here. So there's some changes. Uh, platform is still there. The lower platform. I am in the process of moving out. And eh, kind of. That platform will probably be there for quite some time. But look what we got up here. We got woohoo! Storage. Lots of storage. And uh, lots of storage. Lots and lots and lots of storage. So let me. Uh, it's time to do a little showcase. I moved the portal up here. Because this is intended to be where you come. Toggle farm. Please turn farm off before leaving. All right. So in case you haven't figured it out, the uh, the guardian farm is working. It's complete. So let's turn it on and uh, let's go for a little little walk. Okay. So notice I got no blocks on the floor here. That's because there is a slime block torch tower or whatever you want to call it redstone tower that leads down from here and does a couple things so first off it turns on the farm it comes down to here boop sends a pulse out to here loads up all the uh the the dispensers here with the signal and causes them to dispense their water so then the farm starts uh, generating or spawning guardians. <coughs> I am sorry. I am, I have a cold or something. Uh, I hope it's just cold. But uh, so I may be coughing a little bit. And it also comes down and turns on this. The minecart collection system. And let me show you how it does that. Um, come on guys. Well, thank you. Ignore that. So remember the uh, the collection system gets turned on when these pistons extend causing these blocks to get powered by the torches down here which then power these repeaters power these blocks and uh, turn on the collection system so the carts come up when they have stuff in them when they start offloading into the hopper it uh, triggers a, a comparator below which temporarily turns off the uh, the torch and the uh, repeater unpowers this block causes the uh, the the hopper minecart to hang around until it's empty all right so i have this little thing back here little access tunnel i left it open for the time being but um so i've got the this is the slime block piston redstone tower thingy so the uh basically when you press the button up there, it extends a sticky piston, which pushes a bunch of slime blocks with a redstone block down at the end. And then it comes down and it, you can only push 12 blocks, right? Excuse me. Um, and so it then pushes it down so the redstone is one above redstone on a block like this. And that block then powers either another piston or in this case comes out and goes into our flip flop. This takes a pulse. And turns on or off. Um, has one item in this little circular collection of droppers. And uh, the farm's on, so I get quite a bit of lag. But there's an item right there. Ender Pearl. If I pulse this again, the Ender Pearl gets sucked up into this dropper here. And then all these, this comparator turns off, and then all these turn off. Uh, I pulse it again, it gets spit into this hopper, which then drops it down into this dropper, turns on, and, and these all turn on, and so on. These are all set to maximum delay. I want to give the minecart collection system a little time to turn on or off when the farm is turned on or off. So, yeah. So, there it goes. And you saw this. This is the where all the stuff comes. It comes along here. To an item elevator so i've got a typical odd glass item elevator thing i am now picking up items because i am in the stream but i've got a uh fence post couple fence posts here this one over water that one uh 
not over or packed ice that one not over packed ice glass or any other transparent block but i'm using glass next to this one so this doesn't connect and the items and i do a little turn here because that's what i found needed to get it to behave in a reliable manner so that the items come along this wall here slide between the fence here and the wall these blocks and they get sucked up in and it works it works quite nicely so I'll probably close that off so the items come up through here and they go up through this glass thing and they go all the way up how much stuff did I pick up see just standing there I picked up like two stacks of shards and a half stack of crystals and a bunch of fish which I don't need the fish this thing generates a lot of fish woohoo that was cool looking so it's a long way up so the item elevator the glass elevator goes way up here we're far enough away here you can't actually see the items streaming up through it but they're still there and then it goes up let's see if i can do this without killing myself comes up along here gets into a water stream bottom with with uh packed ice goes around a corner we'll climb up there in a sec goes into this giant sorting system and uh yeah let's uh go up top and take a look here yeah goes up into this giant sorting system and the items come along and I, i'm using the cakes here and fence posts so that the items when they stream along they're actually kind of right on the boundary between the packed ice and the hoppers so the hoppers pick them up works pretty well and you see it's just a constant stream of stuff which is pretty cool so uh the last item is the last hopper chain here actually isn't sorted it's an overflow system and it occasionally picks up stuff not not right now uh so i've pardon me <coughs> no excuse me uh so i've got it i've got it sorted out the way I'm, I'm trying to avoid overloading the system and screwing everything up is by having multiple hoppers for the common things so i've got like 10 different stacks of uh, 10 different hoppers on the sorter here for the the shards because it's by far the most common then like five for the crystals and that also represents a good ratio between um, making a stat, you know, making even amounts of the prismarine blocks, the prismarine bricks, and the and the sea lanterns. This thing does occasionally kill or spawn and kill squids. So I have a little bit of a, a squid ink sack item here, and then fish generates a lot of fish. I have the fish at the end because that i don't mind flowing into the uh into the overflow and in fact i'm thinking of setting up a little pressure plate or button here to turn on a little dispenser system that just dumps the fish out into the ocean because i don't need them or we're not eating them and you can't use them for anything else okay so let's turn off the farm hopefully that takes care of some of the lag and mind you it's the lag it, my internet connection is particularly, I don't know, um, latency sensitive. So I end up with very poor pings. Oh, you see the farm is starting to shut down. Um, and so if I'm on a good network connection, I don't get this kind of uh, latency ping uh, issue. Um, I love how the water splashes over the cakes. That's very cool. Anyway, so it generates a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And uh, you can take these and make a lot of other stuff. The main thing, of course, that I'm after, I'm more interested in the prismarine crystals than much else, mainly because I want to be able to make as many of these sea lanterns as I want. I had a bunch more here. I've taken a bunch because we use them they're they're awesome lighting sources and uh, they're uh, they look great and they're uh, 
they're basically free now that we have this all right and then the fish the fish we just go like this Whew. bye bye uh so anyway that's the uh the the farm uh i i probably want i'm gonna do some additional stuff i i haven't really called it done it's functionally complete you can come out here turn it on collect all the items you want and then make your blocks take the take, take what you want and go away um it's actually really cool to come up here and watch the stuff blowing up uh and it works and and it all basically the mine carts pick everything up they don't see anything getting left behind everything makes that up the elevator and everything makes its way through the sorting system everything works um the only thing is it's a little ugly we have this big old space of uh, half slabs out here to prevent spawns which is a good thing uh but uh we kind of want yeah we, we 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 this is ugly it's really ugly so i don't know i'm talking with vex about maybe trying to decorate it a little bit i don't know uh it'd be nice to hide some of this redstone a little bit better i think i got it hidden pretty well over here i just have to seal up the door there and uh this upper area it's kind of open to the elements but it's safe i've got it all, all lit up so nothing's going to spawn so maybe do a little something here i like being able to see out along uh i like being able to you know see the water and see the islands nearby which i've lit up uh the other ocean monument my aqua base I've started putting a wall around the outside with the intention of clearing out the water to get rid of those guardians because they just, they, they cause no, all manner of trouble. Uh, and I, I want to be able to turn that into a functional base. And a base that I could then hop in my little underwater rail system, come out here, grab stuff, and then go back over. Started mining over there. and uh, It's just, it's a pain in the butt with the uh the guardians so anyway that's uh that's about it a quick little episode but i just wanted to show you the completed guardian farm uh yeah so said so i was oh goodness um i think it's the last episode or the one before i was talking about how i was getting sick of the guardian farm i was ready for it to be done i'm sure you're getting sick about seeing it but uh we got it all set up now so on to uh, bigger and better things. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about those in uh, the next episode. So I think that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.